in this pandemic, what are you doing? Are you worshipping? Are you like Paul and Silas? Welcome to today's DDRX. Our anchoring scripture is Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I've said before you, life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live. And looking at checking our choices, especially in this unprecedented time. I want to look at the narrative of Paul and Silas. We we'll compare it to that of Elijah. We see worship and worry. Worship and worry. Now it's a matter of choice how you respond to tough or difficult time. When you are in scared to death situation, what do you choose? Like our present world now. Scared to death situation, what do you choose? How do you react to bad news? Are you always reactionary, anxious, and fearful? I know someone that will always be going to the washroom, just diarrhea. <laughs> Let's look at Acts 16, 23 to 25. And when they had laid many stripes on them, Paul and Silas, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stalls. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. This is our midnight period as Christians. In this pandemic, what are you doing? Are you worshipping? Are you like Paul and Silas? Paul and Silas chose to worship God in their prison cell. They did not think about their chains, but they focused on God. Elijah, however, after two great spiritual victories, God, you know, God answered by fire, you know, rain, he had thrown the chariot of Ahab. Elijah became worried and afraid for his life because Jezebel, Ahab's wife, said he was, she was going to kill him. You know, worry will weary a man and weary his condition. Worry robs you of your joy. Elijah was worn out, he was depressed and even became suicidal. No wonder Paul wrote in Philippians 4, 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Do not worry in situations like this, but worship God with your prayer, with your praise. Thank you.